In this video, I show you how to set up your experiment, how to start coding it. Basically, you first log into your personal Site Toolkit account, and then you look here on the left, there's a box Create, and you select Create New Experiment. Now, there are different ways to create a new experiment. We choose method one, completely new experiment, and we're going to give it a name. In this case, we just call it Simon because it is about the Simon task. And then you say, create completely new experiment. I click on it, and now under my experiments, I have one called Simon. Now, every time when I click on this, it will open up here this uh, editable area. So basically at the top, it says experiment Simon, and I need to enter code in this box. Now, I'm not going to do this, I'm going to do this in the next video, but here I'm going to make myself ready. So for example, what you can do is you can open a scripting syntax tab. If I do that, a new tab in my browser is opened with all the commands uh, of uh, the site toolkit experiment programming language. Now go back to the other tab of my browser, and I also see I can click the blue question mark. Uh, so let's do that and see what it says. It says how to write site toolkit code and gives me some instructions and some help. So I'm going to, to, uh, going to click back. Whenever you are here uh, on this web page, you see these blue question marks that give you further help. Now I need to enter my code in this white box. Uh, the first line here is a comment line. It starts with a hash mark. Everything that's following a hash mark is comment and the computer just ignores it. I'm going to remove that and when I do that I see this button here becomes yellow. That means save, the code has been changed. I click that and now basically I'm ready to start.